Hi, it's Alex. Today I want to talk about the Black Lives Matter movement and why I support it. And I want to direct this video primarily towards white people. Um, I want to talk about why I think it's especially important for white people to support the Black Lives Matter movement. And I want to talk about how you can support it uh, and how you can make a difference for addressing the problem. So what is the problem? The problem is that there is a disproportionate number of black people who are killed by police in the United States, and some of these killings can be particularly egregious. Like, there are examples of people who are unarmed getting shot. There are people who get shot by police when they're running away. There was a case of Charles Kinsey. He's caring for a, a man who was autistic and was playing with a toy truck, and he didn't have any weapon or anything, and he's in the street and he's trying to, like, calm down this man, and the police officer just shoots him. There are also some more marginal cases in which someone is being aggressive towards a police officer, and the police officer shoots them and kills them in some cases. So there's like a wide range of these things. Regardless of what you feel about a particular case, I want to make clear that there are plenty of cases out there that are super clear-cut, where it's obvious that there's some sort of foul play at work, that like, either the cop is like, just, I don't know if what their motivation is, but the cop shoots someone super, like, easily, like it just, I don't know. And there's statistics backing up that there's like a disproportionate number of black people killed by police in the U.S. So, this issue is, in, is important. I want to make clear, though, um, there are also people of all sorts of other races killed by cops. Um, in the U.S., there's also a lot of institutional racism against Hispanic people, and they're also often disproportionately affected by these things. Um, but white people are also killed by police, too. So, what makes it different when white people and black people are killed by police? When someone is killed by police, there are always people who care about that person. And there are always people who advocate for that person. But it matters who is doing that advocacy. So, like, there is a big power disparity in our society between white people and black and Hispanic people, and other races too. It gets pretty complex, but if you're talking just about white and black people, white people are in a position of much more power and influence in our society than black people. And this plays out in a lot of different ways. One of them is economic. White people have more economic power. They tend to have higher incomes. They tend to have more money at their disposal than black people. Uh, another one is, like, connectedness to positions of political power. White people are more likely to be connected to people in positions of power, whether it's in politics or, like, in prominent positions in organizations. For example, like, if you look at, like, CEOs of big corporations, things like that, you find a lot of white people. There are all these different ways in which white people have more privilege and more power in our society. So basically, when a white person is killed by police, and then people get upset about it, first of all, just by virtue of numbers, because there are more white people, it's like the dominant group in this society, uh, if people are focusing on people of their own race, there's going to be more of a fuss when white people are killed. But even not considering numbers, like, when people, like, get worked up about these issues, and they're advocating for someone, and they're like, hey, this person was killed by police, look into it, like, what happened? Why did this officer shoot this person? What are you doing to the officer? Have you suspended the officer? Is the officer being charged with a crime? Uh, and so on. Like, there's all this public discussion that takes place, and people are pushing for these different things. And what happens is going to depend a lot on how influential the people are who are doing this advocacy. And if you're white, you're going to be more influential, on average, than if you're black. It's just kind of like the sad reality of our society, that we have this inequality. There's another way, though, that I think it actually helps the issue more if you're white and you're advocating on behalf of someone who's black or Hispanic who has been shot by police. And that is that you're an outsider. And I think that there's this sort of extra credibility that you get 
when you care about someone that is a member of a different group, or when you are advocating for an issue that you seem less directly involved in. I can give a really silly example of this. Um, I don't smoke weed, and I've never smoked weed, but I'm a huge advocate of legalization of marijuana. And I've noticed that people often take me a lot more seriously when I advocate for legalization than they do people who smoke a lot of weed. And it kind of makes sense, it's like, if, if you see someone and you're like, oh, they're just like, wanting weed to be legalized because they're such a huge pothead, like, it's easy to dismiss them. And I think that there's a degree to which this happens with uh, issues of black people being killed by police. Uh, it's like, if you see a bunch of black people advocating for black people, and you're white, it's easy to be like, oh, they're just caring about this person because they're black. It's especially easy to do that when it's one of these marginal cases, like someone is acting aggressively towards the police officer. It's easy to just be like, oh, that person had it coming, they could have acted differently, whatever. But when white people start caring about this, it becomes harder for other white people to ignore it. And this is really important, because in a lot of these cases, the people who run and control the police departments are white. And in some cases, the people who run the government bodies that oversee the police departments are also white. Like, you see this in Ferguson. Uh, Ferguson has a huge black population, but if you look at the police force there, and the police department, it is disproportionately run by white people. And so, when you had this massive civil unrest there, it wasn't just about the specifics of this one killing that caused everything to go crazy there. It was because there's this huge, deeply embedded institutional power dynamic, that like, there's this, this police apparatus, which is mostly controlled by white people, and it is disproportionately harming black people. So it's the system. I think it's really important to understand that as a white person, and then to understand that you can have more influence on that system just by virtue of being white. You'll have more credibility. So this is why I think it's super important for white people to not only support the Black Lives Movement, but to get actively involved in it. I'm not saying that you need to go to protests or anything like that. I'm not a huge protest person myself. But I think that talking about these issues is really important. Like, look into the specific killings. Like, when you see something on the news, like, look some articles up about it. Try to figure out what happened. Um, and if, if something happens in your community, or in any community that you have a connection to, do something about it. Like, start talking to people. If you know anybody who's closer to the power structures, then talk to those people, and see if you can spread some positive ideas to, like, try to get us as a society to root out this type of violence. And also the institutional racism that facilitates it and fuels it. Uh, and, and makes it harder to kind of solve this issue. I think that if more white people started talking about this issue, and caring about this issue, and advocating for this issue, it could have a tremendous impact in helping to protect human life. And one last thing I want to add, like, I see this thing sometimes saying, like, all lives matter. I totally agree, all lives matter. Black Lives Matter isn't saying that only black lives matter, it's not saying only black lives matter, and it's not saying black lives matter more, it's saying they matter at all. Because sometimes when you look at what goes on in some of these situations, black people get shot, and they get killed, and sometimes there isn't very much of a serious response. Like, the police departments don't always seem to take it very seriously. And that's super disturbing to me. So, I think the, the name of this movement, Black Lives Matter, it makes a lot of sense to me, because there are a lot of messages out there that seem to be saying that black lives don't matter. So, that's why I support this movement, and why I would encourage all white people to support it as well. Yeah, thank you.